Hi everyone, today we will talk about synchronization between Revit and Nevis work in clash detection using Dynamo script to transfer all the information for the uh, clashes and the status of the clash, name of the clashes from Nevis work and push it into Revit. So it will be easy for us to resolve it. <coughs> Since we have all the information here, but when we deal with the rivet, we don't know where is this clash number one, where is it clash number two. And if you use switchback technology, it gives you view, but it doesn't give you where is the clash point exactly and where is the status of the clashes in color, as we will do in our script. <clears throat> the script used and all the working fire rivet and nervous work will be uploaded to my channel after I finish this. Uh, lecture if you like the video you may like you may subscribe to my channel let us get started we'll make a very simple uh, test we'll name it duct first pipe first pipes hit it <coughs> we'll give a space like this and then we will use duct and duct hitting one of the side and on the other side I will use a pipe and a pipe pipe and pipe hitting we will use the tolerance 2 cm it's quite enough then run the test it will give you 7 clashes clash number 1 clash number 2 Clash number three. If you want to highlight all the clashes, he will highlight it to you. Otherwise, he will concentrate dramatically from one to one. Okay, we will export this uh, clashes as a report. So many ways to export HTML, HTML table, but we will use XML. We will use only these two parameters, we didn't need it, the, the clash point, x, y, and z, and clash status. But if you are submitting this to the consultant, you should take all this for giving all the information for the, for the clashes. Right, it will be in XML, we will save it as it is. And then it will appear here. XML duct verse pipe will open it as Excel sheet. This is XML, but you can write it, you can read it as X Excel sheet. This is what we want because Excel is, is very compatible with Dynamo. And then we will use read only workbook. Since it is read only, we must save it again. So it will be. Uh, Rewrite. You can name it as it is. You can make it duct first pipe and then save it. Now it is the Excel sheet. Okay. Back again to Revit script. We will use this Excel file which we just created and then open it. The script is very simple to read from Excel. This is the path, this is a file from the path, and this node read all the information from that. This one you can ignore it by writing the cheat name, but I make it automatically to read it. There is one node also from Bumbley doing the same, but I did it manually. I like it to make it manually. Touch point. You will take it x, y, and z from uh, from from the table. It is very easy. We already explained this before. No need to go in these details to get x and y and z. <coughs> and clash name. You will get the clash name from uh, from this file uh, and push it into one of the family. This family a clash point. You will create one family like a ball. This ball is crystal ball. This crystal ball will denote where is the clash to be uh, easy for you to, to, to see it. I make it crystal so you can uh, see through. 
this is a bore, normal bore, generic model. And then when you do this, you will uh, give it a name, class one, class two, class three, so it will be matching with uh, Nevis work name and give it a color. This color, I choose it red and, and yellow and green to match with the uh, color name in the report. So uh, Nevis work have his own color, the new red active yellow approved is green resolve it is yellow so i make this this is a standard color any class has come coming new in any report like this but after you rerun it again it will be all orange it is reviewed and if it is resolved, you resolve the situation. We will make example for this for now. And it will be approved from consultant. You give it a green color. So I will export this one is already exported. We go to the rivet. And then we will run this script. It will give us all color red because all the uh, clashes is if you go here for the it will be all clashes is new then we will try to uh, solve some of these clashes <coughs> we have clash here so we'll let this pipe go up little bit when you go up which means this one will be resolved and uh, this pipe if I go down maybe this three also will go down so let us go down for this one okay so this one is resolved but this one I will keep it as it is so it will change color from red to orange orange which mean reviewed reviewed but not not solved but this one reviewed and solved so this one will be yellow resolve it and this one will be yellow resolve it and uh, that's it okay so we will save it and then another step we will do it is to uh, delete all this pools otherwise it will be pushed into uh, nervous work which we don't want okay save it then go for the nervous work again and then refresh the file it will take a couple of minutes to refresh all the data and then we will rerun the script from here so the the, the clashes will will the computer will know if it is resolved or not resolved don't do this self by, by yourself it will be automatically for uh, for the scripts he will give the the color also the color here if you see this color it is all red and red and red which mean new when we rerun it will be almost orange because you already know it is not new for you it is it is reviewed and then he will whatever is resolved then rerun just two clashes is resolved which we, we 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 use it if you do like this it's resolved as you see and this one it's resolved which we did and this one is reviewed suppose that this one is resolved and the consultant approve it so you can give it an uh, approved will be green but this one is resolved but the consultant don't approve it it said i don't like the way you are solving the problem do it again they are normally doing like this uh, clash one it is reviewed but you want to highlight it as a new tell him this is new for some reason you want to make it new so if it is like this and you want to export the file First of all, close the uh, Excel sheet and then export it. You can override 
in the place and then when you go again to this one from this you will create another excel by open this one open with excel of course and read only if you notice here it is new active 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 approved resolvent okay and then you will save it and you will replace this one of course then we go again to uh, Revit environment and then we uh, run the script again when we run the script we expect the following this one would be green and as we see ah, this one is green because the consultant approved it and this one is resolved but waiting for the consultant to be approved this one is orange because it is old and I did not do anything it's only reviewed and this one also this one it was reviewed also but I make it for some reason go to highlight somebody tell him this is reviewed but I will consider it as new it is for it is compatible with Nevis work whatever you will do it in Nevis work it will be appear here and also the funny issue that when you click on this one it will give you here the clash name it is clash number two the only approved one is clash number two let us go for the result again the clash two is the only green one approved clash six this one is resolved but waiting for consultant approval so if we go again and click on this one it coming yellow yellow which means it's resolved clash number six resolved other is reviewed 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 clash number three and this clash number one it is new as we did it in Nevis War. by this way you will control and bring all the information uh, in, in the Revit, here in Revit, you will know all the status, all the information, everything, and you can rectify it one by one and follow it with Nevis work. There is one button in Nevis work doing something like this, for example, clash number six. There is switchback, but look what happened when we press switchback. Go it again to create one. A view called novice work switch back and when you do it if you have a here a slab you cannot see it and if you hide this one you don't know where is the clash this one or this one or that, because he give you a view he he, he depends that you know where is the, is the clash but if you don't know where is the clash exactly this one and consider this my script making this pores but without this pores it will not be easy for you to uh, catch where is the uh, that's why we make this script to make it like this clear and professional and the color and every clashes have the name and the status uh, all this file will be uploaded to my channel uh, if you like this uh, video you might subscribe to my like and subscribe to my channel thank you for watching.